Hello, I'm Starlight Flux. Four Brancher. And, well, we're probably going to do something slightly different to, to usual, ain't we? Because we're going to have a bit of a method of discussing this rather than unusual. Yes, uh, we're going we're gonna to try a new scoring system, which uh, <laughs> may go well. Uh, and we, may, we may not do it next week if, yeah. um, this... uh, well, it actually won't be next week because there's... Uh... Yeah, the hiatus. Yeah. Um, I will actually say, if anyone's familiar with Doug DeMiro, it is kind of based on his system of scoring cars, but uh, <laughs> we've kind of adapted it to an episode. So it's kind of, it's going to be interesting, uh, I think. Yeah, what well, let's see how it goes, because yeah. the start is the story. I let's mean, start out the story. So I think the story of this episode is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> I mean, That's... it's absolutely brilliant, the fact that it was... Cat so much character development. Yeah, we also got... the the fact that it didn't feel rushed, despite the fact it had um, so once you had two different plot lines going on at the same time. Yeah, but so the fact, that... fact of the matter is, we saw what we should have seen in I think season five or season four. I think from the princess, maybe even season three. Yeah, basically the, the run up. This would be a really nice episode in season three, but we didn't get it. Mm. Whatever. I mean, you get. I think to be fair, yeah, it, I think this is the reason why this. Season, they're just crossing off every single thing mm. that fans have wanted for nice, ages. And the because nice the thing, thing is, is, we now know a bit more about Celestia and Luna. Yeah, I think we've been crying out that. Uh, I that mean, we've we've years. seen some of it before because it was that episode when they had basically swapped jobs. Oh, yeah, but that was a bit. That was season eight, I guess, but that wasn't as much character development as this. Yeah, but I suppose it was a bit. We more... now know what Celestia is like. We now know what Luna is like. Which one would you be actually, Celestia or Luna? Ah, uh, honestly, I can pick because I, well, I I do a mix of both because I've actually gone, I've actually gone on holidays that have been basically relaxing. Like I've gone to ones with like, uh, there's been ones where I haven't done anything but just relax around with my mates. Mm. You know, because I took off weeks to do that, mm. and then there's one where I go to conventions and basically it's just yeah. a rush. And then there's this weekend where we've yeah. just come back from a hoodie, yeah. um, well, uh, let's say yeah. robotic combat. Sort yeah, of let, let's let's go with this. If you haven't watched um, Battle Watch, you won't know what he's referring to. Just, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> no one's going to get that reference. If anyone, if anyone gets that reference, please comment below. We'd Jesus like to speak Christ. to you. Um, at least I would, anyway. Um, I think I would as well, but that's we're getting massively <laughs> off topic. It is getting massively off topic, but let's get back onto the story. I mean, we got character development fantastic. I think we also got. A little bit of personality <laughs> thanks to that. Yeah. As a good thing. Character development, definitely. And it was nice to see how the pacing was so well done. Also, it's because, between because, two. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because, yeah. because the thing is, if you think about it... really well. The way they managed to flip between the two and not make it seem like it was rushed, that was the a... The only thing I'd say for a downside is, if anyone's <clears> ever been on an adventure holiday, they did that in one day? Like, Really? You did all of that zip lining, I barrel think jumping. Be, I think to be fair, that was all of that maybe in the day. second day because they had a day when they were with them, with them, and a day when they were. They no, they been, didn't. They didn't. I don't know. We would have to go back and actually. We'd probably have to go watch, but I think they only did that in one day because Twilight had was only using that amulet for the first time when she started oh, yeah, screwing yeah. it up and then eventually breaking it. Yeah. Um, so I think it only happened over one day. How do you get through all that in one day? Like, seriously, anyone who's been on an adventure holiday will tell you, you cannot do... I've never been on an adventure holiday. And you can do zip lining, and you can do barrel jumping or whatever it I was. And you can do all the Kilimanjaro stuff. It's a Actually, bit you of... couldn't do Kilimanjaro in one day. You just can't. They are princesses, remember? Yeah, but... And they are basically, uh, essentially, gods in their universe. They could have a lot more stamina than most of us. I mean, even then, you're not doing Kilimanjaro in one day. You, you can't do Kilimanjaro in one day. Well, yeah, but that... Was that well, a reference to Kira? It was Pilimanjaro, it was Kilimanjaro. Yeah, but the... you got to remember that they can probably fly all teleport. They weren't something. flying at the time. Oh, no, they were, they? No, they weren't. And you can't do cave cave crawling in that time either. I have a problem with that one. Yeah, but that's because you're a geologist and you go and do a lot of outdoor yeah, things anyway, so you know, know this. That's how I know. That's how I know. It's just, yes, that's my problem but... with the story and that will affect the story. The story, story. Because it's not realistic. <laughs> For me. Um, this is the guy who hates your. Um, hang on, hang on. May, may I just remind ourselves that we are twenties, you know, you know, late twenties, yeah, I know, I early thirties, and we're watching a kids show, and then we, I know, I know. this is kind of sad. Anyway, shall we, on, shall we go? I on know to this? it's sad, but the thing is, that's the reason why I normally judge it on how entertaining 
and how well the painting shall, is. Shall we then go on to the humour? Shall we then go on to the humour? Oh, the humour was spot on. Oh, fantastic. The humour was absolutely... The it. memes. Oh, the God, memes. the memes coming out of this episode. The meme faces on this <laughs> one are going to be... I can already see the dirt people... Uh, there is going to be so so many memes coming from this. It is yeah. not real. Yeah. I think the humour was exactly on point. I think with... Um, especially when it came to it being self-aware. Oh, God. Rainbow Dash at the start going... <laughs> out of all the, the times, times we needed, we needed them, them, and this is, is when they show up. up. Yeah, exactly, the one time when they actually knew the what humor, they were doing. The humour was I, I mean, to be fair, Raymond Dash has already said this once before this season. I know. At the beginning of the season. I know, but the fact they did it now. I wonder if that's going to be a recurring thing then. I wonder. Because the thing is, that's happened at the... Be at the beginning of the season, and it's happened at the before the um, you know the hiatus, a sort of um, the finale, sort of he hiatus or whatever the hell it's called. It, yeah, whatever. But yeah, the humour I think was absolutely on point. Shall we then? We've already discussed humour so, being on point. Good parts. Shall we go on to animation? Animation. I think it was very, very animated. Uh, again, oh, let's yeah, go well, back well, to the meme faces. Meme faces. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the animation was just fantastic. I didn't see any errors either. No. Which means it's just really, really good. I think it's really expressive. <clears throat> I think it was fu uh, well paced. I think yeah. the jokes actually helped. The humor actually helped oh, the yeah. animation. Yeah. They were using the animation for the jokes. <laughs> okay, Still thinking yeah. of Torterra though. Jesus. Oh god, yeah, <laughs> Torterra. Uh, that... Torterra. <laughs> it, I don't know what they actually. I forget what they actually called it, but it was a Torterra. Yeah, we're gonna call it Torterra, uh, just because we're Pokemon nerds. Yeah. Um, and we we need if they had Ryan Reynolds and an electric rat, uh, they would have been brilliant. Um, anyway, <laughs> so as far as the story, what would you give it a score? Because I would yeah, give it a we need, to, we need to go through the entertainment and what have you. Well, yeah. yeah and then yeah. the actual score. Yeah, okay, well. So. It was definitely entertaining. Yeah, I mean, the the animation and the humour just kept. It, it kept you engaged, it kept you, you know, <coughs> that sort of thing. Mm. It was a really good thing. I uh, don't know about you, what you were thinking. I think, as far as entertaining is concerned. Do you have any bad points on the entertainment? I can't think, I can't of, think of a single. I can't think of any single bad this, thing. I think this will go down as one of the greatest episodes oh, of, yeah. the ser of the series. Maybe even of the entire show. Yeah. I, um, I will remember it, and I probably will go back and watch it. You know, in twenty years' time, yeah. when we're remembering, ah, oh, remember Finn. Yeah, well, I will come back and watch this. I think this will be one of the ones on there. Mm. Well, and the score, I'm going to listen to that again. Oh God, yeah. I'm going to listen yeah. to that again. Musical that was score was definitely. I mean, yeah. I, I did not expect it to be a musical, but uh, the, yeah, that was a. What did it call? I mean, we had two. Yeah, it was sort of. I mean, that's better than normal. And the background music, although I didn't really notice it, was quite good. I have to say, though, the whole thing about having two people on holiday basically bickering because of differences. I can that's fully normal. understand. I can that's understand. normal. No, to, that is normal. That is so yeah, relatable. Yeah, I think they've absolutely got everything on point, and that will, possibly, <coughs> for me at least, right. go in with so, the story. So shall we go on to the final score? So yeah. story, what's, I what's would it get, for you? I honestly would give that a 10. I'd go with eight. It wasn't well, actually, perfect. Yeah, okay, I'll give it a nine because it's nowhere. It's not like oh my goddess. Yeah, it was definitely funny and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll, I'll say as far as stories because because there wasn't much of a mole. I will give was not much. So I will probably give, actually yeah. yeah. I'll give it eight because there wasn't yeah, much of a mole. There was I'll go with eight as well because it is fantastic humor. Hum on a ten. Point. ten. Yeah. Ten. Definitely ten, ten. for humor. Uh, animation, no real errors. I also like the background. Uh, the background. Yeah. Points, all of them just in the in the first go. Yeah. I'm giving that a ten. I'm going to give the animation. Actually, I'm going to go with nine, just because. Okay, there wasn't any. Quite... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, because there wasn't any draw dropping animation. There wasn't any draw. There was good use of it. It was really but, good. But it was animation that damn wasn't. near so perfect. I, I can't say that because uh, uh, because basically ten are they actually visually stood out and thought, oh my god, sort of level. Yeah. So yeah, and I think to be fair, yeah, entertainment. I, I would, this kept us engaged yeah, the entire thing. I'm going to give that a perfect ten. 10. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Okay. And then score. I don't think it's the best score no. ever, but it, I will it, come back and listen to this. So I think I would give it about a seven. I'd go with eight. I'm going to push that. Yeah, because it is going to be memorable. So yeah, eight. Yeah. So final score of forty-five out of fifty. 
45 after 50. 45 out of 50. Please correct me in the comments for any, um, you know, <laughs> Math. anything that math mathematical errors, but I've got 45 on that. We should have really worked that out. We really that. should have worked that out, but I think 45, that's, it's a good episode. It's damn near perfect. Yeah. At least for me. Yeah, I would um, agree with that. Yeah, that's fantastic. But, I mean, any lasting remarks after that, though? I mean, I would have to say, I don't really know what. 45. Five. I mean that is it. That's higher than average. That's, that, that's it's way better than average. It's one mm. I will come back to. This I think is this is. I, I think this is going to be one of the ones that I would put it up there with. Um, so I think it's Science of Science. Yeah, because yeah, to, to, to me that is like I that think, is my old. I mean personally, that's my all time favorite. Uh, it's not mine, but I will agree it's a very but because, good episode. It's because it's just. Yeah, I've yeah. got multiple reasons why I like that one. But... 45 out of 50. There's our... There's our um, right. Well... There's our thoughts on this episode. We thought it was damn good. Uh, what do you think? What what score would you guys give it? I, you know, from 1 yeah. to 50, giving our uh, little... I mean, this is like, this is something new. We may not bring it back next time. It depends on who else is here as well, because mm -hmm. I know me and Jonathan, we're trying this out. Um, again, as far as we're concerned, I mean, it it was like 45 was a good, it was a good score. Very good score. I mean, 45 was a score that I don't think we would give to many episodes. No, I mean, I'm thinking of one from this season. What's New Apple Bloom? Would you really have given that one? Oh, God, that, no. I, I think, think we, actually try we, we did that. actually try to score one. I think it was like, I it, think it came in at something like 18 for us. Yeah, it was, yeah. We, but we anyway, we're it. probably going to be winning this another yeah. time anyway. We'll I mean, we are it, basically yeah. trialling this because... We may not even do this when Brendan's around here next time. Um, we're probably only going to be doing it when, like... Us two are Yeah, around. because to be honest, we are kind of planning something quite huge. Something quite... Uh, if we can actually get it done... Yeah, and we anyway, can... we're rambling now. Yeah, so let's, ram let's yeah, actually yeah, rambling. Anyway. anyway. So, yeah, good episode. Anyway, Bob Bratcher. Starlight Blacks. Catch and you we'll... again next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.